Hello and welcome to this World Frenemies video. Today, we are going to take a look at why the five countries shown above are friends with Djibouti. Now, there may be one thought going on in many people's minds. What is Djibouti? If you heard of the country, great, but if you haven't, here's a little background info. Djibouti is a former French colony with a land area of 23,200 square kilometers. It has a population of roughly 922,000, which is the smallest in mainland Africa. It is located in the Horn of Africa and the southern entrance of the Red Sea. Djibouti is famous for, well, having a name that sounds like your booty. But that's not the point. Djibouti is famous for the large number of foreign military bases it has within its borders. The five countries mentioned previously, China, the US, Japan, France, and Italy all maintain military bases in Djibouti. In short, that's why they are friendly with Djibouti. The first base set up in Djibouti was by the French, right after Djibouti gained independence in 1977. Following the 9-11 attacks, the US decided to start counter-terrorism efforts, leasing Camp Le Monnier in 2001 as the US's only permanent military base in Africa. Italy and Japan constructed bases in 2009 and 2011 respectively. The most recent addition was the Chinese People's Liberation Army support base in 2017 by China. But why would any country want to set up a base in a small, poor African nation? For the five countries, Djibouti is located strategically near conflict zones such as Yemen, Somalia, and the Persian Gulf. It is also right beside one of the most important shipping routes in the world. The US has been using Djibouti as a base for counter-terrorism and to secure influence in Africa. Italy and Japan set up bases due to concerns over Somali pirates. Several other countries such as Saudi Arabia and the UAE has also expressed interest in setting up bases due to regional conflicts with Iran in the Gulf Strait. Even India is interested. I could go on, but I think it's pretty clear why so many countries in the world are racing to be the most prominent influencer in Djibouti, making Djibouti the new popular kid on the block. So what's in it for Djibouti? Why would they want so many foreign militaries in its country? The idea of allowing so many foreign militia into Djibouti was conceived by one President Ismail Omar Gwede since he came to power in 1999. The foreign powers pay over $300 million in lease to the Djiboutian government. And since Djibouti only has a GDP of around 2 billion US dollars, that helps them a lot. With the money, Djibouti has been able to build highways to Ethiopia as well as fund domestic constructions. With the presence of foreign militaries, Djibouti has also for the most part avoided internal conflicts its neighboring countries have had. President Gwele probably benefited the most, because while he is often characterized as a dictator, you won't see any country trying to get rid of him anytime soon. It's not all fun and dandy though. Most countries that have troops stationed in Djibouti are NATO allies or close associates, and the US have planned to keep it that way, blocking a possible entry of Russia. Despite the US's efforts, China's application has been approved in 2017 with the US quote blindsided, and that has led to several accusations in recent years. For example, in 2018, the United States Department of Defense reported instances of laser attacks against pilots flying near the base. And with China starting to pour millions and millions of dollars not only into their base, but also Djibouti's commercial sector, tensions are rising between the US and China about who should be the dominant power in Djibouti. For the time being though, the countries remain at peace 
sharing the benefits of having a base in Djibouti. But with more countries trying to gain influence in Djibouti, how sustainable this friendship is, is yet to be seen in the future. If you liked this video, please consider leaving a like and subscribing. If you have any suggestions, feel free to leave a comment below as well.